you will fail your way to greatness. Most people allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. When you're willing to fail again and again and again, when you make up your mind to become unstoppable, when you make up your mind to become a no matter what person, then that will then give birth to a part of yourself that you don't know right now. Imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the ghost of the dreams, the ideas, the abilities, the talents, given to you by life and that you for whatever reason you never went after that dream you never acted on those ideas you never used those talents you never used those gifts and there they are standing around your bed looking at you with large angry eyes saying we came to you and only you could have given us life and now we must die with you forever See, most people stop short of their dreams and park and get off the highway of life because of the rejections of life. You will always be rejected. It's no big deal. Jack Canfield said rejection is a myth. It's not like when somebody says no and then they slap you. No, it's just, you know, to me, make no your vitamin. Get excited about the no. Why? Because every time someone says no, that brings you another step to a yes. You're getting closer. Trust me, you will win if you don't quit. You will win if you don't quit. Even a broke clock is right twice a day. As you go through the challenges of life and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you, don't run from it. Step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, if you easy come, easy what? Easy go. See, but when you go at what you're going to deal with and you deal with the difficulties of it. When you handle those hard things close at hand, making those hard decisions right now that you don't want to make, learning those things that you don't like to do, but you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. And I'm saying to you, whatever you got to do, do it, because if you don't, life is going to whoop you until you surrender. You have something that you brought to the universe, and that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well, and becoming the best at it, and mastering myself, and seeing what I have within me, if you decide to drop your buckets where you are, and develop your gifts, I grant you, you'll never ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. I grant you that if you begin to work to develop your gifts, you'll develop a strong sense of happiness. You'll get a larger vision of yourself because part of beginning to get a larger vision of yourself, all of us need some area of our lives where we can have a feeling of competence. That people know when they think about this area, that's something you do. That you eat and sleep that. And that you do that. You do that. Changing is not easy. But changing your life, changing habits, reinventing yourself, yeah. picking yourself up after life has knocked you flat on your back. I've got to say, when life knocked you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you could get up. Well, that sounds cute, but that's not easy. When yeah. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer 17 years ago, the first time that happened, I said, hey, I can handle this. Then when it came back a year later, I mean, last year, 17 years later, and this time it metastasized to seven areas of my body and ate 40% of my T1 vertebrae. Now the stakes are higher. Is this life saying, okay, Mr. Motivator, you beat cancer the first time. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> you know, I started laughing. When the doctor told me, he said, why are you laughing? Are you in denial? I says, no. I said, I feel like Mother Teresa. He said, what do you mean? She said, Lord, I know you know how much I can bear. I just wish you to have so much confidence in me. <laughs> I said, so I said, the stakes are higher. So I've got to dig in and got to fight more because at the end of the day, life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over.
And so it's a fight, it's a challenge in life every day. And what we have to do is embrace it. What we have to do is see it as a project to be worked on. In life, you will always be faced with a series of God-ordained opportunities, brilliantly disguised as problems and challenges. And so I see even cancer as a gift, as a God-ordained opportunity. If you die today, what dreams, what ideas, what talents, what books, what music, what leadership, what voice will die with you? There are a lot of people who are biting their fingers in fear that they might lose their jobs. But there are few people who have decided within themselves, I'm going to make it. Some people aren't waiting to be cut. Some people are moving on their own because they feel within themselves, I've got what it takes to make it. They're not afraid about tomorrow because of how they see themselves, because of what they feel that they deserve because of what they feel that they can create for themselves. Because these people have decided, as they look at the future, as they look at themselves, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way for me to begin to create a way out of no way. And when you have that kind of consciousness, when you have that kind of spirit, nothing can stop you. Nothing. There's no secret to success. There's a system to success. And no matter what organization you become a part of, the system works if you work it. If you don't work it, it won't work. But it works if you work it. And that's one four-letter word that most people don't like. They're not willing to work. They're winners. And there are losers, and there are people who have not discovered how to win. And all they need is some coaching. All they need is some help and assistance, just a little support. All they need is some insight or a different strategy or plan of action to make some adjustments that will open up the key to a whole new future for them, that will give them access to the unlimited power that they have within themselves. That's all that they need. So what I want you to do is, is think about something you want for you, that's real for you, that's important for you, that will give your life some special meaning and power. And I don't even want you to say, I can do that. I don't want you to assume that. See, five years ago when I started out in this area, I would not have been able to make the mental leap that I would be up to where I am right now. I don't want you to begin to just psych yourself out. No, no. I want you to be able to say something to yourself that will enable you to maintain a level of integrity with yourself. That when you say this, even when you face tremendous setbacks, it, it will be a benchmark to keep you in the game, to keep you moving forward and experimenting and readjusting your strategy and your plan of action, continuously looking for ways to win. I think we have to reflect on who am I? Why am I here? What drives me? If I died today, what three words would I want said about me if I died today? You know, what is it that defines me? You know, and how, how do I define myself? So I went to the next mode necessary to start talking to people and seeking and asking for what I wanted and leveraging relationships and trying to find out how do the people do it that went ahead of me? How do they do it? And then what is it I need to do? How is it I need to train myself to develop myself? What's the resources that will be required in order to make it happen? And as I start seeking out and asking questions, I started running into people saying, I know someone who can help you do that. And they helped me get connected with those people. Remember, we have so much energy that can take us so far. It's necessary that you hook up with some other energy that can take you to the next level. I hooked up with them. They said, let's, let's go. I said, away we go.